Hey, 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 welcome to grammar, okay? This is a review, review lesson in grammar, subjects and predicates, or subjects and verbs, main verbs is what really your book is going to call it. Um, look at page three. You don't have your book yet, probably. We don't know. <laughs> maybe you're going to get them. Maybe you won't before this starts, okay? But um, look at exercise one and exercise two. Let's go over the instructions, and then you're going to see that it's just a review. Okay, you're finding the subjects and the verbs. You're like, oh my goodness, uh, what do we do this every year? Yeah, you do this every year. <laughs> okay, every grammar lesson starts out with finding the subjects and the verbs in a sentence because then you can focus on how they construct the sentences and so that you can construct good sentences when you write and speak. Okay, look what it says. Exercise one, subjects and verbs draw two lines under each verb and one line under each subject. Watch carefully for compound parts and verb phrases. And then it has a little brackets, handbook sections, etc, etc, etc. You are going to have your own handbooks, so that will really help you for review, but you might not have them yet. Exercise two, subjects and verbs. Look at right, right there. Draw two lines under each verb and one line under each subject. Same thing. Okay, but there's a little bit more tricky sentences there, so it breaks it into two parts. So let's go through our review quickly. Remember, I already know that you're going to look at half this presentation, so Michelle, I know that. Okay, good, but review is always good. Steps to finding the subject and the verb. Find the what first? Verb first. Look for a word that shows action, and look for words from the verb list. Because remember, there's helping verbs and linking verbs. So remember your verbs. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been, has, have, had, do, does, did. They don't look like action words, but they are verbs. I'll show you the list right now. Okay, so here is the list. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been, has, have, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, might, must, can, could. And words that look like action words but actually are linking words as well. Like you can say she tasted the food or she can say that tastes funny, that tastes yummy, that tastes whatever. Then taste is now not an action if you're tasting it yummy, okay? But um, either way, they look like actions so they're easy to find in your subject and verbs. Okay, but there's your list to help you remember that those are verbs. Hey, make sure you're checking your binder every time you go into an assignment because this is in your binder so that you can use it while you don't have a handbook. Number two, find the subject. Ask the who or what before the verb and never ever look in a prepositional phrase. Okay, what are prepositions? I'm about to show you. Remember, anytime there's a preposition like with her, with, the subject and the verb is never going to be after that with, okay, in the phrase. So we're going to be in the phrase that starts with with, of, in, off. Okay, because those are all prepositions in your subject and verb are never found in prepositional phrases. And boom, there are your prepositions. I will not make you memorize them yet. Okay, but anytime you see these prepositions, then the phrase that goes along with them behind the seat below the fan nothing in there is going to give you your subject or your verb so you might want a picture of this on hand okay so let's practice okay look at this stop it and see what the subject is and what the verb is underline the subject once underline the verb twice okay stop it if you need because i'm about to show you the answers Okay, car poked, row is girl's bait. Look at the second um, sentence. If you put bushes is, well, then you got to go back to that, <laughs> that prepositional list, you guys, because of is a preposition, which means as a prepositional phrase, which means bushes cannot be the subject. Okay, that's what I meant by that. Okay, moving on. Okay, look what it says. The verb phrase is the main verb and it's helping verbs, not modifiers or interrupters. Okay, so be careful. The word not is not part of your verb phrase. Try to find your verb and subject there. 
Okay, stop the video if you need it because I'm going to show it to you right now. There you go. Okay, so Jan is a subject will forget. Not and often are not verbs, okay? You don't see them on the, the am, is, are, was, were list and you don't see them on the action. Uh, they're not action words, so don't forget to not include those. Okay, sometimes there's problems when the sentences are inverted, especially in questions, okay? So, look what it says. To overcome the problems locating subjects and verbs, be careful with the following. Inverted order, interrogative sentences. What are interrogative sentences? Question words. Will you go with us? What do you need to do? Invert it back, put your subject first, and find your verbs that way in your head. Stop it if you need because I'm about to show it to you. You will go with us. You is a subject. Will go is the verb. That's how I did it in my head. Make sure you invert it back, just like we did with questions. I think you've watched that video by now, the forming question ones. Invert it to check it. You will go with us. You is a subject. Will go is the verb. Okay, also sentences beginning with there or here. There and here are not the subject, okay? They're not the subject. They also invert the order of a sentence. So look at the sentence. There are several reasons for my answer. Invert it. Several reasons are there for my answer. Several reasons are there for my answer. Now give me the subject and the verb. And let's show you the answers. Reasons are, okay, several reasons are there, reasons are. Sentences that start with an adverb phrase. These are difficult, <laughs> but listen to the sentence. Remember, you have to ask yourself who or what is doing the action. In the back of the room sat my sister. In the back of the room sat my sister. Find the verb, ask who did it. You can invert it too. I'll show you how. Okay, you can say, my sister sat in the back of the room. <laughs> you can put it back there, right? So sister is the one that sat. Imperative sentence, come here, come here. Well, who's coming? You, so it's you understood, look. You in parentheses, you gotta write it. You gotta write it because you have to know who is the subject. You come here, but you don't have to say that. Just say, come here. You're gonna see one of those in your homework today. A positives. A positives are phrases that you can take out. Remember, that's why they have the parentheses around them. Our new teacher is you are a positive. Sometimes the positives don't have parentheses or commas around them. Sorry, commas around them because we believe that they're necessary. But they're still phrases that describe the noun that they're close to. Okay, Mr. Jones is the noun that they're close to. Mr. Jones, our new teacher, is from Florida. So be careful. Those are positive phrases don't have the subject in them, even though they're describing the subject. So careful, look at it. Stop it because I'm about to show you the answer. Is is a verb, Mr. Jones, is the subject. It would be easy to say the teacher is, right? But the teacher is in that positive phrase, so you cannot use teacher as your subject. Interrupted verb phrases. These are pretty common, so be careful with them. We've seen these a lot of times. You will not always win every race. Careful, just find the verb. And all of it, <laughs> and the subject here goes up. Will, win, remember, not and always, not part of it, not part of it. Subject and verbs may be compound. The cats and dogs make excellent pets, but require time and attention. Careful on this one, find it all verbs and subjects. Look at it. 
make and require cats and dogs. Okay, find them all. Read the whole sentence. Not after you find just the first one. That is it. Done. Easy. Come on, this lesson. These things should take you seven minutes. Time yourself. Seven minutes because you got to make sure you read through the whole entire sentence to make sure you find all the subjects, subjects, <laughs> subjects and verbs. Go for it.